Um, well, the one major difference would be uh, the, the chronic shortage of supply. I mean, there is a shortage of supply across many territories in Europe, but it's particularly acute in, in, in the UK. Uh, and that clearly <coughs> will see going forward uh, significant more of the new stock being built to suit. Um, from an investor point of view, it's very interesting that um, with a lack of availability of options for occupiers out there, there's going to be even better retentions. Um, and, and most had people uh, looking slightly up the risk curve. Uh, there's more investor appetite for um, shorter leases because people can see uh, an, an increased um, uh, ability to retain people. Across our portfolio, we have uh, somewhere in the region of the high 70s in terms of retention. So if you're going to vastly improve on that, that's going to be quite significant. Um, I just echo also the, the importance of the e-retailing um, revolution, I call it. I mean, it's not just in the logistics sector, it's, it's uh, affecting the way everyone is, is, is going to, uh, to, to be doing their retailing. It's important to note that only 25% only of us in this country, and it's similar across the rest of Europe, only 25% of us do e-retailing at the moment, so you can see the immense growth there is there. That is interesting in terms of what is going to manifest itself. We all uh, know Richard uh, alluded to earlier the type of facilities you're going to be looking at the closer to town in smaller um, sites nearer to the conurbation. But the, these are rapidly evolving. Uh, that makes us challenges for an investor. Uh, it's areas we'll be looking at, but um, uh, it's going to be quite interesting to see how that goes over the next 